It's <laughs> like 600 proof. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ina Garten, and usually I love Thanksgiving, but it's so much work. So this year, I've got a special treat. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make classic Thanksgiving dishes, but with less time and much less stress. This year, store bought is just fine. What did I just do with the pie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my pie. <laughs> Now I have this philosophy, that if you can buy something really good at the store or a bakery, there's really no point in making it yourself, like vanilla ice cream. It's perfectly delicious. So I started saying in my show, store-bought is fine. It means choose a really good ingredient and use that as part of the menu. I mean, for Thanksgiving or really any time, if you can use good ingredients from the store that make it easier on yourself, why not do it? When the New York Times asked me to do a store-bought is fine Thanksgiving, I thought, well, that's impossible. And then I thought, well, maybe it's not. Maybe instead of cooking the potatoes, I can buy store-bought mashed potatoes and then add sour cream and Parmesan and make them taste exactly like my Parmesan smashed potatoes. And it turns out you can do it. I think the goal for store-bought ingredients is that you don't know that it's store-bought, that it tastes just like you would made it yourself. All of my recipes do that. And it's not just my recipes. You can go to the store, find ingredients that you like, and make them into something for Thanksgiving. I think everybody obsesses about the turkey, but the truth is, it's the sides that everybody loves. Yep. Everybody agrees with that, yeah. One of the things I love to make for Thanksgiving is a bread pudding instead of stuffing. But here's a trick I found, is I tested it instead of cutting up the bread, toasting it, seasoning it, I just use stuffing mix. It's already toasted, it's already seasoned, and it's absolutely delicious. And so I'm gonna make my mushroom and gruyere bread pudding with the stuffing mix. It's kind of crisp on the top and it's moist in the middle. It's fabulous, so much easier and nobody will know. I mean, the key to any dinner, particularly Thanksgiving, is that the host is having fun. If you're happy, everybody's gonna have a good time. And I think the easier you make the meal, the happier you're gonna be. I'm really not a confident cook, so I'm very precise about the way I make recipes. And I think if you follow the recipes here exactly, they'll come out really well for you. Oh, there's somebody in the kitchen while I'm cooking. <laughs> Is that like over? Mine? I love pie. Thank you. Nice yeah. casual. You Perfect. Yeah. Home because you love it. You know, Thanksgiving isn't a contest to see who can make the most difficult thing. I always try and make the simplest thing. And just because you've bought store-bought ingredients or some kind of preparation from the store doesn't mean you can't have an absolutely delicious Thanksgiving dinner. And nobody will know. So when I was testing the recipe for my bourbon chocolate pecan pie for my book, Go To Dinners, I discovered something amazing. Is I made it with a homemade pie crust and I made it with a frozen store-bought pie crust. And you know what? The store-bought pie crust was better. The homemade pie crust was like too rich for the pecan pie. So I really recommend go to the store, buy a really good frozen pie crust and it'll be delicious. It's actually gonna come out in one piece. Amazing. And then we'll go now that I've said it's never going to come out in one piece. Uh, excuse me. Wow. How's that? Mm. Uh, never comes out perfectly, right? First one's over. Look at you. <laughs> I took lessons from you. <laughs> I mean, one of the things I love to use is vanilla ice cream. Ice cream is actually creme anglaise that's been frozen. So all you have to do is take a pint of vanilla haagen defrost it, and use it as a sauce underneath it a cake or a pie or something like that, and you've made something simple into a dessert. Over the years, I've probably made thousands of Thanksgiving dinners between making them at the store and making them for my family. I think the key to a really good Thanksgiving is a really good plan, and not just 
plan for the day, but plan for the whole week. What you can do ahead, what you have to do on the day, including setting the table. You know, when I invite people to my house for Thanksgiving, it may be a family meal, but I still want it to feel like a party. So I always make sure there are great cocktails, there's great music, the table setting is really nice, and everybody has a good time. So make this dinner as simple as possible so you can have a good time too. I may have to take a yeah, second. Yeah, no, 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 sure no, okay. <laughs> All right, we got it. You got Thank it? Thank you. You done with me? Yes, I'm, yes. I'm done like the turkey? Thank done. you. Thank yes. you, everybody. No. Thank you so, so much. Easy. Well, that's good. I like, the, I like the, I like like the, it. I like the, it uh, all looks, yeah. Maybe not that one, but. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, always a pleasure. Great thing. I hope you enjoy this collection of recipes and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Have fun. Perfect. We're cutting. I'm one take garden. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> you can start your car. <laughs>